My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. Reports of stink bugs are on the rise and people want to know how can I prevent them from getting into my house and what can I do to get rid of them permanently? Brown marmorated stink bugs are really the culprit that everybody's complaining about. And what these are is they're a stink bug species that was introduced to the United States around the mid 90s in central Pennsylvania. This bug is native to Asia. And what happens when these bugs are brought in from countries that they're not normal to or not native to is that there are no predators present to regulate their population. House. Brown marmorated stink bugs have had the ability to do is reproduce uncontrolled. And we're getting hundreds and thousands of stink bugs all over the place and there's nothing to keep those numbers down. And people are finding them getting into their houses, especially in the spring and in the fall. And so what this insect is, is it's what we call an overwintering pest. And what it is, is it's coming to people's houses looking for places to hide for the winter. And so in the fall, it's coming to the house to hide for the winter. And in the spring, it's trying to get out of the house to get outside and, and live its normal reproductive cycle. And so all this insect is, is invading your home. It's actually completely harmless. It does stink, which some people don't think it actually does. If you put it in your hand and hold it tight and smell your hand, as disgusting as that is, you will actually smell a smell associated with it. It's called stink bug for a reason, but it's harmless. It's actually not doing anything inside your house. It's just looking for a place to hide. What it is doing though, is it is hurting agricultural plants. It is damaging some crops. And there are a lot of researchers looking for ways to start reduce the population to this bug because it is starting to have a negative effect or impact on local crops. And so what you can do is that first off, you can obviously contact a knowledgeable professional. There are applications of pesticide that can be done in the late summer, early fall that can help reduce the numbers of bugs that get into your house for the winter. And so that's one way that you can do to reduce numbers. You can also seal up your home. Make sure that you have proper door sweeps installed so that bugs can't walk under the door. Make sure that your windows are sealed properly. That way they can't get into those cracks and crevices. And one of the most common areas we find stink bug entering homes is through the chimney. Now, obviously you can't seal the chimney, but you can look at ways to hopefully prevent the bug from getting in in the first place. The one thing to keep in mind is expectations with this bug. It's very difficult to completely eliminate this bug from getting into your house. And so don't go into a control program thinking that you'll never see them again. It's very difficult to do that, but you can drastically reduce numbers by sealing the home as best you can and getting a pesticide application done in the late summer, early fall. And that's two ways that you can help reduce the number of stink bugs that you see in your house. Thank you.